Hi, it's your local dragon lady here, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron is now released in English. It's existed for a while, but it was only available in Japan. So what is Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron? Well, it is a companion app for duels. It primarily functions as a life fun counter, but has a lot of different tools. And the best thing about this companion app is it is uh, officially tournament legal. So we all know that there are other uh, apps out there that calculate life, point, life points, and they are pretty nifty, but they're not legal for tournament use. Now, technically, like it is okay to use in the calculate life points, but you still need to record them on a piece of paper. And the reason for that is basically uh, you need to have a log of your life points just in case a judgment call has to be made, and especially in tier two events. So yes, this one is completely tournament legal, which is great. It just puts everything at your fingertips. So I'm just going to go into duel right away here and I turn it sideways. You'll see on the top is a timer. So we know that duels are generally 40 minutes. So you can set the timer to 40 minutes, uh, 8,000 life points each. Uh, you can tap on your life points. So say if I took a thousand life points damage, uh, you can add in the triple zeros. It's just a lot faster. And I love the sound effects too. You know, it's not identical to the anime, but it is pretty anime, but it is pretty nifty. Uh, say if I were to uh, gain life points, so let's put it back to a thousand life points. There you go. And uh, we all know there are card effects that, in order to their maintenance costs, requires half of your life points. So boom, divided by two equals. There you go. So um, if we tap on the life points, you'll see the log there on the side, and it's here at the bottom too. So say if something were to happen, there's a conflict and you need a judgment call, they can click on the log and they can see what has occurred so far, which is really neat. Now tools right here, we have a dice and a coin and we have counters. So again, there are cards that require you to roll a dice, uh, for some for a coin. You can even use this to determine who goes first. So let's just roll the dice. Got a six, that's really nice. And if I use a coin for my Dark Sanctuary, for example, let's put the coin. Tails, so yeah, that would mean the attack goes through. Now counters is nice. You can add or remove counters. The only tricky thing about this one is you will need to keep track of which card they are being used on. So if you're using you know, Pendulum Magicians, I know that can pretty, be pretty complicated. So. I don't know. If I were using a deck like that, personally, I would still prefer to put the dice directly on the card themselves. Otherwise, it would be easy to lose track. Uh, let's see here. Now, music. Uh, this is pretty nifty. Uh, if we push play on the music... Yeah, now it's the only track that's there, but it is the... Uh, it's one of the tracks from Duel Links, and it's actually one of my favorite tracks. So, And you can uh, decrease how loud it is. Uh, same thing goes for the sound effects. If you don't want any sound effects, there you go. So we'll, we'll stop the music. Now let's see here. Camera search. Okay, so, all right. The great thing about this is, <laughs> hi, I got some sheet music here. Uh, spoiler alert, I, uh, I, I play piano. Okay, so I have a lovely legendary fisherman. So let's take a picture. All right, so it is the app is 98% certain that this is a legendary fisherman. So if you look at the text of the older car, like it's a first edition, uh, it basically says when Umi is set is face up on the field, the car is unaffected by any magic cards and cannot be attacked by your opponent's monsters. Okay, so you can see there's some ruling here. But if you tap on the Legendary Fisherman, here you go, it has the most updated errata. So while Umi's on the field, this card's unaffected by spell effects and cannot be targeted for attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Um, all the information, it's water, level five, attack is 1850. I gotta love those 50s. Now uh, you can share the card, you can include it in, well, this will show you where you can buy this card. So, okay, Speed Duel Tournament Packs, Legendary Duelist, Star Pack, Battle Royale. Uh, and here are some other cards that work well with it. Pretty nifty there. So let's go back to Neuron here. All right, so let's go back to the main app. 
we don't need to go to that camera anymore. All right, so let's leave the life points. I keep moving this over. So in the news, um, yeah, this is what we have in the news. And decks, all right, uh, there's the camera search again. You can do my deck. If I want to build my deck here, keep a track of it, you can certainly do that. Uh, deck search, okay, so, all right, flower guardians, fur hires. Wow, dark magicians. I wonder, do they have like, oh wow, grave keepers? Red eyes? Uh, Dragon one, okay, this is, oh wait a minute. Blue Eyes Chaos Max, another one. I wonder if this person got the same idea I had with the... This is a different build. But anyway, I am getting off track here. Okay, so yes, you can search the deck type you want. Chaos Max, go. And it will search different builds. Oh look, this one must be a fusion based one that uses the shining dragon oh my god okay we're, we're getting out of this one <laughs> but yes you can build your own decks and you can share them now the forbidden and limited list this is this one is very very important uh, this is the most up-to-date information of what has been changed in the ban list but for full details so you're in the middle of a duel and here you go. This will take you to the website and show you what's currently banned. Your Ancient Fairy Dragon, Grinder Golem, Glow Up Bulb. And it'll take you down to what is uh, limited, semi-limited, no longer on the list, and updated with three status. So that is pretty neat. But uh, now for data. Okay, so my Konami ID. Yeah, you do link this up with your Konami ID. So if I don't have my card with me, I can just use this to say, hey, um, I am a registered uh, duelist with Konami. Uh, frequently asked questions, uh, settings. So yes, um, the log archives. Oh, wait a minute. I guess, oh. So I guess if I win or lose or duel, I guess this keeps track of it. I don't know. Okay, let's go back. And the calculator settings. So yeah, this just goes further. All right. So yes, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron. I like this app a lot. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to use this in the actual duels because there are no local tournaments going on due to the pandemic, but at least it's available for downloading. Um, I definitely recommend that you give it a try, especially if you do participate in events and at least play with it a little bit because once, uh, once the, uh, in-person events continue well i'm sure a lot more people will be using this app but anyway what do you think let me know in the comment section below and as always remember to be a good sport play the game not the fame see ya thanks for watching if you like what you see subscribe and click on the bell for notifications i'm also on facebook instagram duelings and edo pro links and user information are in the description below keep dueling and have fun